What is up guys? This is my Minecraft modding tutorial for Forge 1.6.4 and I'm running Windows 7. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps to setting up your workspace and everything so you can start modding in Minecraft in this first video. Now there's a lot of bullshit we're going to have to go through and there's a lot of stuff that is most likely to fail if you do this wrong so bear with me and follow this uh, tutorial to the T and I'll have some troubleshooting and stuff that you can do within this video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is look into your operating system. So click start on your computer, click computer, right click it, click properties, and somewhere in here it should tell you your system type. Take note of your system type, I'm running a 64-bit operating system you may be running 32-bit. So just take note of that for now. Next thing you're going to want to do, open up your browser and type in JDK. Uh, you'll get to oracle.com and you'll see Java SE Development Kit 7. So you can click on that and you want to get the JDK. So uh, if we just scroll down here um, we'll get the Java Kit 7. You might have 8. Um, they recommend getting 7. So if you're running a Windows 64 bit computer, you get x64. If you're running 32 bit, you get x86. So you accept and you download the one for your operating system. So make sure you get the corresponding versions. Once you get that downloaded, install that, run that. I'm not going to reinstall uh, Java. So once that's all installed, we'll move on to our next step, which is adding the paths to your JDK and JRE bin folders to the environment variable path. Now, a lot of people are going to want to skip this. And if you skip this, you your build just won't work. Um, and you won't be able to program. So make sure you follow this next step. So click on start, right click on your computer, now click properties, advanced system settings here, um, click advanced again, and you will see environment variables. So within here, we're going to scroll down, uh, ignore the top, do not touch the top. So scroll down until you see path. Now if you don't have path, you could go new and you type in path yourself. Now if you do have path, you can just edit it and select edit. And we're going to put in a new variable value. So to figure out your variable value, uh, let's take a look at where to find that. I'll just close off some tabs here. So click on your computer, right or sorry, just go into your computer, go into your local disk C drive, and go into your program files. Now regardless of whether you're using 64-bit or 32-bit, you're gonna find your path in program files. If you did not find if Java is not in here, then you installed the wrong um, version of Java for your operating system. So go into here and we're going to find our paths. So first we're going to need uh, <clears throat> excuse me first we're going to need the Java home path which is the JDK 1.7 slash bin. So your version might be different but it's going to say JDK here. So go into there and then go into bin and then just leave it there, highlight that, control C to copy, and then just copy your path right there and paste it in a notepad for now. Now your next path, let's go back a little bit, will be your JRE7 bin. So go into your JRE7 folder and then go into bin and then control C, copy that again and copy that path. 
Now you can merge these two together and put in, I believe that's a semicolon in between. And that will give you your full path. So that will be your path to uh, setting your environmental variable path for your Java and as well as setting the home or to your JRE7. So just copy all of this. And I'll, we don't need this anymore. Go back into your um, system properties, advanced environment variables. Um, like I said, find your path in here. If you don't have path in here, just go edit, uh, go path, and just so I don't overwrite something here. And where is it? Right here. Edit. So type in path there and then just copy and paste your path in there and my path is already in there so and that's all you'll need to do for that save it press ok all that good stuff after that you could type in here cmd or command prompt pull up cmd command prompt and you could do a few commands to test your path so you could type in this command echo percent path percent hit N, enter and it should give you your path something similar to this it should pull up uh, you know, some some kind of a thing that's going to correlate to Java uh, you could also do Java dot version and it'll tell you your Java version as well as um, echo Java home which I'm not sure because we didn't set your Java home, but that's fine. And you won't need to do that. Okay, so moving on, if that didn't work and something came up and it didn't look, you know, didn't read anything like Java, once again, you got to go back into your computer properties there, uh, advanced system settings and environment variables, and put in your environment variables. All right, next step is getting Forge. So this was the hardest part, and like I said, if you don't do this, your Forge will fail, and I know a lot of people don't want to play with environment variables and stuff, so you have to make sure you add the path. Okay, so Forge, um, if you just go ahead and type in Forge on the internet, you'll get to a site called Minecraft Forge. MinecraftForge.net you're going to want to select 1.6.4 and then go show all downloads. Now, do not get the 3. Point or the latest version. Um, you're going to want to get 9.6.4. You're going to want to get that one and you're going to want to get the source. Now, if you get the latest build, you're not going to have the easy install setup that's going to follow along with this video. They changed it a little bit in there and it's different. So go ahead and get the 9.6.4, 1.6.4 version and download this source. After you downloaded the source, you will get a folder or a RAR file that looks like this. It'll be this exact one actually go ahead and put that into a folder on your desktop this is where all your programming files are gonna go so name it something good I named mine mod tutorial so go ahead and put that in there right click it and go extract here now once that's all extracted you'll see gradual dot bat if you do not see the gradual dot bat that is because you didn't get the same version of Forge. So make sure you get the right version of Forge. Do not get the, the latest version. So once that's all done uh, and you got this extracted, what you want to do is hold shift and right click on blank space and you'll see open command uh, window here. So go ahead and do that. And then you're going to want to run this command 
right here. Gradual setup workspace dash dash refresh uh, dependencies. So I'm just going to copy that over and paste it in there and then hit enter. Alright, so mine is done. It's going to take some time for it to finish for you guys. So to know if it's done, you'll see it'll say build successful, it'll tell you your time it took, and it'll also give you your path. So if it failed, it doesn't say build successful, something like that. Once again, um, hold shift, right click, open command window here, and paste that command in and then hit enter and run it again until it uh, completes itself. Now if it if you did it a million times and it still doesn't want to work that's most likely because your Java pass weren't set up properly which in that case you know go back and check how to uh, set that up again properly. So if that's all set up and it said build successful there we can go on to the next step. So uh, if you closed off that command window open it back up Open command window here, and you want to put in this next command right here, which is gradual uh, eclipse. So paste that in, hit enter, and we'll set up eclipse. All right, eclipse is done. It's a uh, gradual is done setting up the files and stuff needed for eclipse. So it'll say, you know, again, build successful, total time. Oh, your path again. Okay, so that's all done. You can close this off. Your last step will be to get Eclipse and actually set up a workspace after that. So get Eclipse. Go on the internet. In Eclipse here. Type in Eclipse. And go to Eclipse.org. Um, I believe it's Eclipse.org. Eclipse downloads you can go to actually. It was in there. I didn't want to navigate to where the download section was. So eclipse.org forward slash downloads and you can get the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the stuff that you need. Once again, get the type that is for your operating system. Download that, install that, and run that, and then we're going to move on to the next part. Okay, so after you're done um, installing Eclipse, if you haven't already launched it, go ahead and launch it. Uh, your Eclipse will pop up and it'll probably be giving you some sort of dialogue and be asking you to set a workspace path. So what you can do is locate your folder, go into there and locate Eclipse with inside your uh, folder. So mine's mod tutorial. Or whatever you named yours and find this path inside Eclipse and I'll copy and paste that path so you could copy and paste that path into there or if that path didn't pop up you know, the workspace um, um, path you just go over to the top uh, select file switch workplace go other and I already typed mine in, so copy and paste your workspace in there, or you could uh, click browse and locate it. So you want to point it to Eclipse with inside your mod tutorial folder and press OK. Eclipse will relaunch itself. And there we go. So once it's all set up, you will see if you have any problems, if it'll say, you know, zero problems. Um, so if you have some problems here, it's going to let you know. Um, if you didn't have any problems and it's looking like this, depending on what version you went with. So it's going to look like this and you should have zero problems and everything should be in here looking like that. And we'll go on to the next episode after this. If you did have problems, like I said, um, your build probably wasn't successful uh, before when you ran a gradual setup so you'll have to go back and set that up